Somit herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge The Walking Dead Episode 4. Ihr wisst ja alle, die Tür wurde nicht angezeigt. Ich konnte nicht reingehen, aber ich muss das ganze Spiel löschen. Dann den einzelnen Kapitel auswählen, der davorige Kapitel und somit ein bisschen gespielt. Und ja, es ist wirklich wieder da. Es geht. Und wir öffnen die Tür natürlich. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. And I said, Morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Wir wollen wissen, was da noch geschehen ist und wir werden es abspielen. Lee, ich würde sagen, let's go. Warum zögerst du denn noch? This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Okay, das wollte ich eigentlich nicht aufnehmen bzw. abspielen, aber okay, dann müssen wir hart wohl warten, mal diesen Leute. Ein bisschen Geduld mit Reinbringen. Oh Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and Wo ist das dritte Band, Leute? Haben wir das selber in der Tasche oder wo müssen wir es finden? 
Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes? Ich überlege mal kurz und dann werde ich entscheiden. Ich glaube, Lee hat das in der Tasche, also müssen wir es eigentlich aus der Tasche holen und direkt ins Gerät abspielen können. Das letzte Band. Ich hatte recht. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or... She'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. Real shit. Der Arzt hat seine Hose zugemacht. Molly war da. Hatten die einen One-Night-Stand? Mal eben eine Runde gemacht. Fiki, Fiki. Und dann noch Medikamente im Austausch gegen Fiki, Fiki. Oh, Molly, du wirst bei einer Entscheidung nicht einiges erklären müssen. Ich stell dich schon mal drauf ein, meine Liebe. Take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. Quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just 
wanted it, okay? It's okay, Mother. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Ähm, Leute, wo ist denn die Sperre hin von dem Teil? Wieso ist das Ding da weg? Ach du Scheiße. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Oh, shit! Wie kann man so hohl sein, verdammte Scheiße? Ben, du bist total blöd, ey, du blöde Sau, du. Wie kann man so hohl sein? Wie kann man das Ding aufbrechen? Fuck the shit. Ich hab gar nicht geschossen, Mann. Oh, what the hell, what the fuck, du bist gut, Clementine. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit, that ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory, we can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, oh, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kitty, lay off, Ben! Ben didn't mean for any of this to happen! It was all just a mistake! I don't give a fuck! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife the child! You got a both fucking killed! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! Das passiert, wenn man sich nicht genug beeilt. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. <laughs> Fuck! It's 
it's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Ich würde sagen, let's go! Verdammte Schießkiste! Sind wir gut, Mann. Scheiße. Mein Bein. Mein Bein. Mein Bein. Fuck. 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 Komm raus, Mann. Was ist Ihr Problem? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Ich kann nicht mehr, Alter. Komm da raus. Was ist denn so schwer da dran? Geht doch. What the fuck? Okay. Wer war das? Dankeschön. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Hold on. Is he... dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. 
Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Wow, Leute, okay. Ich bin mitgenommen. Ich muss ehrlich sagen, wir sind kein böser Mensch. Was sagt ihr dazu? Also ich finde total nicht. Clementine und Lee sind hey, die Familie. Going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Molly weiß zu schätzen, dass wir ein guter Mensch sind. You be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Und der eine ältere Mann. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Ist ein Arschloch. In meinen Augen. Was er gesagt hat zu uns, das stimmt gar nicht. Lee ist ein Herzensvoller Mensch. Er ist der Beste überhaupt. Er hat zwar viele Scheiße gebaut. Sehr viel. Umgebracht. Aber. Er ist ein guter Mensch. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? We can't, Clem. I'm sorry. 
But they're in Crawford somewhere. They have to be. Clementina, I know you don't want to give up on them. But Crawford's just like every other place now. If your parents are there, they won't be like you remember them. They won't remember you at all. Wir mussten leider ehrlich sein, Leute. Es gibt Entscheidungen. Die wir vielleicht bereuen, aber es ist das Beste. Ich muss ehrlich sagen, Episode 4 ist ein Spiel, eine Episode, wo ich sagen muss, wow, es geht mir recht herzlich ans Herz. Es ist echt ein Wahnsinnsgefühl, was einen den Schädel fickt. Wortwörtlich. Clementine. Clementine? Und Kinder machen manchmal Sachen, die uns alle nicht gefallen. Das heißt, Clementine ist auf einem Weg, ich denke mal nach Querford, ich weiß es nicht, aber es sieht nicht gut aus. Der Morgen danach. Clementine? Clementine! Oh fuck, Leute, ich habe eine Fehlentscheidung getroffen. Wir sind angegriffen von der Walker. Das heißt, wir sind infiziert. Wir können uns. Crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee, where's Clementine? She's not in the room. Ich würde hier sagen, leider, es tut mir wirklich leid, aber ich beende diesen Part. Ich versuche in diesem Moment, wo wir zum Walkie Talkie greifen den Kapitel nochmal zu spielen und das Ganze so zu machen, dass wir nicht danach greifen. Denn das hier, was wir getan haben, wird kein gutes Spiel haben. Ich hoffe, es wird sich ändern, wenn wir das andere entscheiden und es besser ausgehen wird. Aber ich hoffe mal, dass es wirklich so kommt. Und wenn es nicht so kommt, dann haben wir ein dickes Problem, was das ganze Spiel beeinflussen wird. Ich danke euch fürs Zugucken. Bis zum nächsten Mal bei The Walking Dead. Haut rein und ciao, ciao.